Here we go. New species. Xyleria polymorpha. Uh, it's a type of club fungi, I believe, known as dead man's fingers. I collected some of these last year, I believe. I, then I did some more research on them. They're a type of a club fungi. Kind of look like a root. See it? See them? They probably do have some kind of a medicinal value of sorts. I don't know. It says uh, the research I've done on lists them as, you know, especially Missouri, inedible. Of course, we're dealing with, you know, some of these people only eat the, uh, the usual 10 or 20. But, uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry, let's try that again. See if I can get a better shot of these. There we go. Xyleria polymorpha. Dang, Glenn, come on. There we go. Xyleria polymorpha. <laughs> Can't get, let's see if we get a good shot. There we go. Isn't that kind of weird? They look like roots and uh, or tubers coming up from the inside. And uh, as you can see, there's some over here. At first, I thought it was a type of cordyceps or something, but it's a. See, here's some over here, too. My finger's at. It's a type of a club fungi. And if you're trying to identify these in a book or some sort, a lot of the books will list them as a uh, club fungi because it looks like a club or a finger. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of obvious, right? That was obvious, Glenn. Xyleria polymorpha. The name's kind of hard to remember. Xyleria. Now, polymorpha kind of sounds like, eh, polymini-morpha. I'm trying to get, you know, that Pulitzer Prize winning shot here. There we go. I'll probably take a shot from way back here. There we go. There we go. Let's try it like this, and then we'll just kind of blow it up a little bit. Alright. Now, I'm going to cut one of these open for you. White on the inside. Hollow. Smells like a... Smells like a... Well, it smells like a tree. <laughs> See, they're white on the inside. Not listed as toxic. Not listed as edible. So, like I said, that could be I don't know. I personally have never eaten these, but I'm sure finger fungi, you know what I'm saying? Type of a club looking fungi of some sort, you know, like a finger. And we call these dead man's fingers for a reason. Oh, dead man's fingers. Let's see if we've got anything else coming around here. But yeah, this is the only spot I've ever seen these. Uh, any coming around there? Nope. But I just thought I'd, uh, some viewpoints here on this. So now I pretty much run the shot. There we go. There's the environment. Rotten. <laughs> Rotten stump usually smaller. You'd probably never see these in a million years because you're walking by going do -do 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 -do. I just started looking for these because I seen them in my uh, reference manual. I seen them actually they were large last year. It was about as big as my thumb. And I was like oh okay. The heck are those? I'd always thought these were like little uh, roots or something coming out. But uh, I was like, oh, this is probably edible. <laughs> Anyhow, that's pretty much the environment. It's a stump. Rotten. Extremely rotten. But it was on here last year, so it's probably like a uh, third season. Third season decay. So that might not be good. You know, second, third. Usually after that spent, and then all the other fungi after that are... Not very good for you, but this one right here, uh, I don't think it's about my second or third season. Yep, Xyleria polymorpha, dead man's fingers. Yeah, that's, that was kind of tricky. But we'll figure, definitely figure out what else we can do with that. But I always thought it was kind of like a, you know, I always thought it was a root. So what is that? When I was a kid, I think I've seen this maybe one time. 